Well, hi there, small business owner. My name's John. I'm from Young Digital Group, where we develop innovative online marketing strategies for small business to help with your sales and marketing. Now, in this video, I want to talk about uh, geolocation services used on a mobile phone. What does all that mean? Well, it's using GPS to identify where you are. And I'm speaking particularly for restaurants or cafes, food places, uh, mainly because um, it's something that you're looking for in a, in a location, everyone needs to eat. And a lot of people these days are looking toward their phone for resources and information. Now in a previous video, I've talked about having your business listed on a map. Uh, Google Places is uh, the ideal location for that. And one of the reasons is because a lot of the data that is placed on Google Maps is drawn through to other apps that, that are developed. So there's different apps, things like Yelp, and then there's Foursquare, and there's, there's quite a lot of apps that are available. And what they do is they use the GPS in your phone to identify where you are, and then they show you what's around your local area and how close. So I'll, I'll quickly um, show you an example. And this particular app on my Android phone is called um, Urban Spoon. And it's that one just there. So if I open that up, so there's a, a few different um, options. I know it's a bit blurry at the moment, but there's a few different options you can do. And, one of them, for instance, is a, a, a shake app where you, all you do is you shake the phone and it will then essentially bring up, a, you know, where that place is. So based on your location, um, the type of food and, you know, the cost, it will end up bring up a, a suitable uh, place to eat. Now, if you don't want to play a, a game type thing like that, there's also the nearby button and when you click on that that will actually open up different um, I'll put it over here. That, that will actually open up the names of different places that are nearby you and tell you how far away they are um, and the approximate cost um, well in terms of dollar signs and uh, and they'll give you the address as well and then you can view them on the map now all of that data comes from having you put your business on a directory. So once you've actually done that, then apps like this can feed off that data and then they can customize their experience around that. So if you're not on Google Places or not on a Maps directory, then you're not getting pulled through to these type of apps. So as someone turning towards their smartphone using some sort of GPS location app, well, are they going to find your business? Now there's other uh, apps out there that uh, you know I've previously mentioned Google Places, and that works off Google Maps. Well, Google on the Android device have their own sort of you know places type um, app, and it'll give you directions to that. So really, what I'm saying here is make sure your business is on Google Places, and watch the previous video for that. But then also you know check to see are you coming up in any of the apps that are available, particularly, say, Yelp, which is quite popular. Foursquare, not as much. Um, I'm, I'm a user of that, but I don't see that there's many others. Um, so as someone that's a bit more uh, of a tech person, that suits me. Um, but Yelp is good. Um, Urban Spoon, have a look at that. There are sp uh, sp specific apps for different you know industries. I know that there's like a... Um, uh, a microbrewery type app and, and, and things like that. So whatever industry you're in, if you're location based, see if there's an app that is something, you know, that, that is actually taking your data or is in your industry that is actually linking to where you are. And if it's not, work out how to get your business in there. And if you'd like help on that, that's where Young Digital Group, um, you know, can help. We can make sure that you've got the correct listings and in the directories and all that kind of stuff. So if you get in contact with us via the link below, we can help. And if you hit subscribe now, then that'll keep you up to date with all the news, tips and information that in this video series. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.